Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to our video series on misconceptions and questions that we get about the RBI system. Today we're going to be taking a look at the command center and the Wi-Fi functionality of the RBI system. So let's dive in. So the first question we're going to look at is one that we get a lot, and I do mean a lot. And we've talked about it before in other videos, but it's just so prevalent among conversations that we have that it's worth reiterating here. And this first question is that I need a command center in order to make the braking system work, right? And no, that's not the case actually. The command center is not required in order for either RVI brake to function. Again, whether that's the Shadow or the RVI brake 3. Both of those braking systems are designed to operate independently in the towed vehicle, meaning the accelerometer and everything that's needed in order to brake your towed vehicle is already present back there. It's not reliant in any way, shape or form on the presence of a command center. The command center is more for you than anything else. It's a monitoring system, so it allows you to see any safety alerts. It allows you to see feedback from either braking system. It's very, very useful. And for that reason, while it's not required, we would always encourage having one just because it's such a critical peace of mind thing to be able to see all of that feedback, to know what's going on, to just never have to worry about things. So we definitely would encourage having it. It definitely makes setting up the brake easier because you can change settings on the command center as well. So again, really important piece of equipment, one we would always encourage having, not required to make the brake work. Our next question is, do I need to be connected to the internet in order to make my system work? This is a really good question that makes a lot of sense nowadays. So Wi-Fi and internet have kind of become synonymous. We view them as the same thing, but they're actually very different things. Internet connectivity is one thing, Wi-Fi is a whole other thing. Really all Wi-Fi is is a method of encrypted communication between different devices. So you can have Wi-Fi without having internet, and that's exactly what our system does. So our little hub, our little hockey puck shaped device actually puts out what's called a mesh Wi-Fi network. And that Wi-Fi network allows any paired devices, be that a brake, a tablet, to communicate with the hub and vice versa. So that can happen regardless of whether or not there's an external source of internet present, because again, we don't have to connect to the internet for our system to work, but it does use Wi-Fi which again, all that means is an encrypted method of communication that we use to make sure that the system can communicate wirelessly. Next up, do I need both a tablet and a hub? We've already kind of touched on this a little bit in this video, but the answer is yes, you do need both. The reason for that is because really the tablet and the hub are one device. They're really doing one thing, but it's split into two parts. So really, the hub is kind of the brains of the operation. Again, it's what's putting out our mesh Wi-Fi network. It's what's actually sending and receiving all the signals. It's kind of the middleman. So the hub is doing really all the thinking. The tablet is really just a display. It's taking whatever the hub is giving it and saying, here's what this needs to look like so that you can read it and it's not all ones and zeros. But that the tablet's really our display. It allows for an easy interface. The hub's doing all the thinking, but they are needed together because they make one unit collectively. Our next question is also a really good one that we get quite a bit, and that is, do I need to leave both devices plugged in at all times? And the answer here is really gonna be, it depends. It's, it's kind of up to you. For the tablet, we probably would encourage that because the most battery life you'll ever see out of that device is usually about two hours, sometimes less, depending on the use. Uh, so that one's probably a little bit more important to keep plugged in at your dash. But as far as the hub goes, because it doesn't have that big screen that's sucking power, it could last all the way up to about 12 hours. So, you know, in some cases, uh, some folks will choose to unplug the hub when they're traveling and put it in a good neutral spot where they get really rock solid communication. That's a great option. Uh, or you could choose to leave it plugged in all the time. You're not gonna hurt anything by doing that. But again, really personal preference, what's gonna suit your lifestyle best. So that'll be kind of a decision you'll need to make at your own discretion. And lastly, we're gonna look at a question that's one of my favorites to answer just because it's fun to delight people with the answer. Uh, and that question that we get asked is, do all of my products really show up on one screen? And the answer to that is yes. It's one of the unique parts of the RVI system is that any of your RVI products will all display in the drive mode screen. You can see everything from braking feedback to your tire pressures, up to 14 tires across two different vehicles, your battery charging readout, and even your connectivity to your breakaway wireless adapter. That all shows up in that drive mode screen. There's that old adage that knowledge is power, and that's especially true when you're RVing. You know, you need this information easily accessible at your fingertips because it's so important from a safety standpoint, from a peace of mind standpoint, you really wanna have this information available to you. So again, it's one of those unique points of the RVI system uh, and of the command center itself that you just get all this information uh, in an easy to read format uh, that's very easily accessible. 
So guys, thanks for taking this deeper dive into the command center with me. If you've got any questions about the command center, about the braking systems, or really any other aspect of our products, don't hesitate to reach out. We're available by phone, chat, or email. And in the meantime, happy RVing.